Hello everyone and welcome to Mobility Academy. I'm the flexibility guy, Coach Alia. And in today's video, we'll be working together on our lower body flexibility because I'm gonna be showing you an hour long routine you can use to stretch your lower body and you can follow along with me, all right? But before we start, let me remind you that if you want to work on your flexibility with me, you can check out my box, Split Sucking and Shoulders Range, which are the complete playbooks you can use to master your full body flexibility. You can check them out following the link in the description down below. All right, now, with that said, let's start. The flexibility guy, Coach Alia. All right, we do want to start our warm up routine on the floor. So, a 90 90 stretch position. All right, so you sit down on the floor, a 90 degree angle here on your legs. This is the only thing we're gonna be doing on the floor today for the warm up, of course, and for everything. And you change, yeah, exactly like that. And that's three, you come back up, that's four, come back up, yeah, that's five, come back, six. Come back, seven, mm-hmm, come back, eight, come back, nine, ooh, come back, ten, yeah. And now you do want to do exactly the same thing, but without your hands. So you keep looking in front of you, and that's one, mm-hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, eight. Nine, uh huh, and ten. Now you stop on the side. You take the yoga blocks, all right, one yoga block next to your front knee. So, fro uh, left knee, for example, here, yoga block on your left. Now, from this position here, you do want to straighten your back leg as much as possible. You stay here. You breathe. One, two, that's fine. Three, internally rotate more your back leg. Four, that's good. Five, six, that's good. Seven, eight, ooh, nine, and ten. All right, now, right elbow, on the yoga block. Also, if you need a couple of yoga blocks, just that's fine. Just adjust the height as you need, and you stay here. And that's one, two, uh, right, three, mm -hmm. four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right. Now, what you want to do here, stay there. You do want to bend your front leg until you have your foot right here. Exactly. So, from this position here, we do want to do something like this. We do what? We do want to drive the body down and come back up. There's a loaded stretch. All right. So you stretch as you go down. Here you stretch, stretch, stretch. You come back up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. You come back up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Yeah. Come back up. Five. Yep. Six. Mm, now you stay there. One, two, three. Relax your glutes. Four, five, six. Oh. 
All right. Woo, no bad. So, nighty nighty, again, other side. We do wanna do exactly the same thing. So, whoop, this way, this way. Yoga block next to your front knee. You stay in the position, yep. Wow, that's crazy. Yep, and that's one, mm -hmm -hmm. two, relax your glutes, three, oh yeah, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Now you take the other yoga block if you need. You put the elbow on the yoga blocks. You rotate your body as much as you can, and you stay there. And that's one, wonderful. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's ten. And now you bend your front leg, relax your glutes, yeah. And then you start on top. Go down, load your front leg, feel the stretch, back straight, come back up. One, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. three, bend your front leg more, four, exactly, five, and I go here and I stay. One, and I don't touch the floor, I'm just staying here active, active, without, without your hands. Three, four, five, and six. Yeah. Come back up, stretch it a little bit. All right, now, come back in the center, all right? Now, 90-90 position again. We do wanna walk on the pelvic roll, all right? So, roll in the pelvis. So, we do wanna start here, anterior tilt, feel the stretch under your hips, and then close the hips. One, uh, you wanna repeat that. Two, come back. Three, come back. Four, come back. Five, come back. Six, come back. Seven, Come back. Eight. And that's one. You stay here. Open your back. Two. Wow. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Wow. Nine. And that's ten. All right, now, one leg straight, one leg bent in this way and in this way. So the foot is behind the hip, all right? Now, one of my favorites, yoga block right over, over there, all right? You crunch your body on the yoga block, one hand down, one and up, yeah. And that's one. You can also grab your foot. Two. Three. Four. Oh. Five. Push both your hips towards the floor. Six. Yeah. Open the chest out. Seven. Yeah. Eight. Nine. And 10, you do wanna 
Come back up, turn the body down. Look at the flow with your chest. And you do wanna drive your, your body in the middle of your legs, which means not here, not towards your front, uh, your straight leg. Just over in the middle, yeah. So relax your bent legs hip. One, two, yeah. Three, four, five, and that's six. Yep, come back up, straighten the other leg. I do wanna do exactly the same, but with the other leg in the position, all right? So position here, yoga block here, crunch the yoga block, really crunch the yoga block. And I can stay here, I open my chest out as much as possible. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's 10. Yeah, very good. Now you come back up, all right? And then you drive your body in the middle of your legs. Same, same. Down with the elbows, of course, if that's too hard for you, just use the yoga blocks, yeah. yeah. And that's one, Two, of course, if you can get rid of the yoga blocks, even better. Three, oh wow, wonderful. Four, that's good. Five, and six. Now a little bit of pancake, all right? Now, of course, take your time. Walk with your flexibility level, all right? So here, mm-hmm. You straighten both legs, all right? And you do wanna use the yoga blocks here to pull yourself into the deepest position you can achieve. So you really want to grab the yoga blocks and pull with your hands on the yoga blocks. Now, first five breaths in the center. So one, two, yeah, turn your feet out. Three, turn your feet up and out. Four, and five, I love it. Now you go towards your left, all right? And you pull, so one yoga block outside your foot, one yoga block inside, and then you pull yourself toward your left foot. One, pull. Two, that's good. Three, mm -hmm. four, oh. five, and six, now you go out the side. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And now you come back to the center, the last five rides. And that's our warm up. And that's one. Yeah, very good. Two, mm -hmm -hmm. three, that's good. Four, and five. All right, warm up done. So now you, uh, you need the weight, all right? So grab the weight and also the yoga blocks as well. So, all right, let's go. So. Now we are going to be walking on the hip flexors and on the hamstrings. All right, can you see me? So, from this position here, you do want to make a lunge. So, from this position, you make a lunge and then you do want to stay upright with the torso, so torso perpendicular to the floor. You bend your front leg and you straighten your back leg as much as possible and you put your hands on your front knee and from here it's really important that you push your hips down as much as you can 
while you push your back heel back as much as you can. So you stay here. One, feel the stretch. Two, torso straight. Three, feel the stretch on your back leg here. Four, mm -hmm -hmm. five, mm -hmm -hmm. six, yeah. Seven, yeah. Eight, nine, ten. Down with the knee. And now you keep your hands on your front knee and you come back up. And that's one, and you come down. Two, you come down. Three, come down. Four, come down. Five, woo, that's crazy. And six, the last one, and you stay here. Five, four, three, two, all right. One, all right, down, and then put one hand inside, turn the back. All right, and now you know the pose, because here with the weight. One yoga block next to your front knee, uh, front foot, sorry. So, you don't want to start in this position here. All right, now, from this position here, with the weight, you do want to start on top, right over here. The back foot is turned out, 90 degrees approximately. And from here, you drive your body down, feel the pressure of the weight, and come back up. And that's one. And you repeat. Two. Yeah, wonderful. Three. You can remove the yoga block if you feel comfortable. Four. Or you can start with more yoga blocks of adjust the exercise on your flexibility level. Five and six. Now I want to stay here. And that's one, two, three, four. I open my chest out, open my hips forward, straighten my front leg. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Woo, wonderful. All right, you come back up. Other leg. So, you do want to start in a lunge again. No weight. Very long lunge. Now, you're focusing on the back leg, all right? So you go down here, hands on the knee, one, two, three, push your heel back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down with the knee. And now, up again. One, come back. Two, squeeze your glutes. Come back. Three, come back. Four, come back. Five, wow, that's hard. And six, and you stay here. Five, four, three, two, one. Wow, all right, turn. Stand up, front leg straight. Weight on top of your shoulder. And we're gonna go again. All right, so here we go. Let's do that. One, come back. Two, come back. Three, come back. Four, Come back. Five, feel the stretch here. Push your hips in front of you. Come back. Six, and I stay here. One, arm straight. Two, push the weight up 
with your shoulder, but feel that the weight is pushing you down. Three, four, five, and six. We're gonna do that another time. All right, I know it's tough, but it's how the game works. So again, the right leg in front, exact same sequence, all right? You ready? Ooh, that's tough. All right, here we go. So, one leg in front of you, back leg straight. You good? So, here, wow, wonderful. And then I go, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, only after six, all right? We're gonna be staying there a little less. And I go up, one, two, three, four, torso up, right? Five, keep your hips down, six. Now you don't wanna use the hands anymore. Try to stay active, one, two, three, four, five, six. Woo! All right. Try without the yoga blocks if you can. Start on top, like straight. Weight on top right over here. That fourth points forward, all right? And now from this position here, go down, touch. Feel the stretch on the front leg, come back. One, that's two, yeah, three, four, five, six, and stay here. And that's one, two, yeah, three, four, five, six. Wow. I don't know if you are, if you are doing cardio or stretching because I'm sweating as fuck. Whew, that's tough. So. Other leg, all right, you with me. Whew. Other leg, same, same. So, I do wanna make my lunge. Whew. 90 degree angle here on the front leg, push my back, heel back. One, two, three, four, Five, six, now I do wanna go down, and straight, one, come down, two, come down, three, come down, four, come down, five, come down, six, and I stay here, release your hands, one, two, three, Four, feel the stretch. Five, six. All right. Straighten the legs. White on top. That foot pointing in front of you. First foot perpendicular to the other foot. And you go down. And that's one. Two, wow. Three, open your chest out as you go down. Four, yeah. Five, 
Wow. Mm-hmm. And six. Stay here. Open the hips. One. Leg straight. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Whoppa. Oh yeah. Pumping up the legs. Let me drink a little bit of water. Whew. Couple of weights now. All right, so let's open up the hips. We're gonna be working on the frog stretch on the wall, all right? Need a couple of weights. I'm gonna be walking on the floor. So, sit down on the floor. One weight on one knee, one weight on the other knee. You need also the yoga blocks as well. So, from this position here, you lay down on your back like this, all right? You're with me. Then, from this position here, one foot on your right, one foot on your left. And then you wanna make sure that your hips are in line with your knees, all right? So not too much towards the wall, much like a, in a 90 degree position. Then, yoga blocks and the, the knees. You do wanna measure how far you can go in the position here. Then you take the weights and you put them above your knees. All right, so they must push your knees down. You with me? Yeah, so now let's start the stretch. All right, so I have my weights here. I'm pushing my knees down. I open my back just a little bit more and I drive my knees down and I stay here. And that's one, two, follow with me, three, mm -hmm. four, five, and six. Now, after six breaths, I do want to push with my knees up against the resistance of the weight and of my hands because my hands are pushing my knees down as well. So I push, push, push up. One, two, hold the contraction. Three, four, hold, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you do want to push your knees down towards the blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and you stop, inhale. Now, if you feel comfortable, you can lower down the yoga blocks under your knees, all right? So maybe rather than this, you can put it like, like this, but maybe slightly more towards the hips. All right, like this. Relax on the yoga blocks, relax on the yoga blocks. All right, again, uh, you just want to relax here. Oh, yes. Let the weights do the walk. And that's one, mm -hmm. two, open your hips. Three, mm -hmm. four, five, and six and now you push up one two three four hold the contraction five six hold that push up motion with your knees seven eight nine ten seconds now you push down against the blocks and that's one two towards the floor three four squeeze your glutes five six push down seven eight nine, 10, and you stop, inhale, 
and on the exhale, you try to get deeper. If you try to get deeper, maybe move the blocks further away from your hips. Stay there. Now, a very important thing is that your knees remain on the same line of your feet, so your feet must follow the direction of your knees. So if you lower down your knees, you gotta lower down your feet as well. And now you stay here. Last six breaths. Let's go. And that's one, mm -hmm. two, wow, wonderful. Three, squeeze your glutes. Four, mm -hmm. five, and that's six. All right, now you remove the weights. We're gonna be working on an active position. So from this position here, hands on the knees, all right? Now, from this position here, you do wanna straighten the legs as much as you can. Push your feet down, come back, and that's one, come back, two, come back, three, come back, four, come back, five, come back, oh yeah, six, and you stay here, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oof. Close your legs together with these. Slowly. Yeah, you got it. All right, are, are you with me? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> That's tough. So, now we're gonna be working on the hip flexors against the wall, all right? So, you do wanna place your back, fo your back knee on the wall, against the wall and on the floor, back foot on the wall. Now, let me show you. So, you're gonna be using also a weight, so maybe take a couple of kilos, a couple of kilos, five pounds, something like that. Mm -hmm. All right. So take your time, of course, I'm just, yeah, guys, you know, I'm just taking my time. I'm just taking my goddamn time. Yeah, you ready? So, back knee against the wall, back foot against the wall as well. Everything on the same line. Now, front foot on the floor. From this position here, you raise your trunk up with these. Take your time. We're gonna be spending 20 breaths here. So every five breaths, you want to raise your trunk a little higher. All right, so start easy. One, two, three, four, five, a little more, six, seven, eight, Nine, a little more. Ten. One. Two. Three. Raise your shoulders up. Four. Five. Push your hips towards the wall. Six. Seven. Hips towards the wall, towards your back heel. Eight. Nine. Ten. All right. Now, front hand on the front knee. You take a step forward a little bit more with your front foot. Move your front foot farther away from the from the wall, 
and now you can take the white, all right? Or nothing, I'm gonna work with nothing because I feel the stretch here. So you wanna start on top, drive your hips down and come back up. And that's one. Down, up, two. Yeah, down, up, three. Hand on the front knee. Down, up, four. Don't move the front knee. Down, up, five. Down, up, six. And now you wanna remain here. Stretch. One, two. Yeah, feel the stretch right over here on the back leg. Three, don't touch the floor, of course. Use the weight. Four, five, six. Now push your back knee and your back foot, the back foot against the wall, the back knee against the floor. One, two, hold the contraction. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Inhale, touch the floor. Relax your back leg. Exhale, slowly into the position again. One. Two. Wow. Three. Four. The balance is five. And six. Woo! Guys. <laughs> wow. That's tough. All right, we wanna do exactly the same thing on the other leg. You ready? Let's go. So back. Knee against the wall, back foot against the wall as well. Everything on the same line. Mm -hmm. A little lunge with my front leg. I don't want to drive this knee out. I want to keep this knee in. And now, here I just want to raise my hips up, up against the floor, against the wall. One, two, that's good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, slowly raise up. Nine, ten, one. Two, ooh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now you move your front foot a little farther away from the wall, and then you start on top, one hand on the knee. You want to lock the knee in the position. One weight or nothing on the other hand. You push the hips down, come back up. All right, so, and we go. One, come back. Two, come back. Three, come back. Four, come back. Five, come back. Six, and we remain here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We push with the, the back foot and the back knee against the wall and the floor. One, two, three. Hold the contraction. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, stop, inhale, touch the floor, relax the hips, exhale, that's tough guys. I can't describe how tough it is. One, two, 
three, four, five, six. Yep. How's it going? That's tough, all right? <laughs> so we don't need the weights and the mat anymore. So I'm gonna be just removing the blocks. Not the blocks, the blocks, we need the blocks. We don't need the weights. So no weights. you need the, the yoga mat like this so we're gonna be working on the front split a little bit all right just a little bit now you do wanna walk with your own level of preparation so take your time mm -hmm. so take the yoga blocks really basic front split position all right you with me? Let's start. So, back leg here, front leg here. Mm -hmm. Now here, I do want to straighten my front leg and go into the position. Now the yoga blocks stay under your front hip, not under your back hip, all right? You think about the correct alignment at all times and you just stay here and that's one two three four five and six now you push your front heel against the, the floor and your back foot against the floor as well and you hold one two three four five six seven eight nine ten stop inhale exhale now if you feel okay on the blocks you can remove the block and just get deeper just take your time take your time take your time the most important thing is that you feel comfortable you're feeling control you want to make little steps, little steps, really little steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, and now you push front foot, back foot against the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, stop, <sighs> inhale, if you can, of course, I'm just showing you the progression, no need to remove the blocks, and that's one, yep, two, excellent, Three, yeah. Four, five, just go down. Six, or get relaxed in the position. Seven, relax on the yoga block. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, yep. Wonderful. We, we have two legs, so we do want to go with the other leg. So, yoga blocks under. You start on top again. Front leg in front of you. Yeah, let's go. Wow. Here we go. And that's one. Relax. Two. Feel that you can sit down with the blocks. Three, the more pressure you can put on the yoga blocks with the correct technique, the better. Four. 
five, six. Now you push with your front foot and your back foot against the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You stop. Inhale. Exhale. You get deeper into the stretch. Slowly. Not at first. If you don't feel like it, don't do that. Or take really small steps. Maybe you, you got a pillow. You can put the pillow rather than the yoga box. That's okay. One. Two. Oh. Three. Four. Five and six. Now you push with your front foot and your back foot against the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Inhale. Come on, the last one. Exhale. Try to get deeper. Hmm. And you go. One. Two, three, four, excellent, five, six, come on, seven, eight, stay with me, nine, ten, yep, baby, Woo. We still got the last position. Five minutes, yeah, of course. Five minutes till the end. So we do want to use some or some pillows or some yoga blocks, but we do want to go into a side split, all right? So take a couple of pillows. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pillows are excellent, excellent to improve your flexibility because if you put your weight on some yoga blocks, the yoga blocks are really uh, solid as things, all right? But uh, the pillows are really soft, so you can push on the pillows and you can adjust the stretch because they're really soft and they're Letting you go deeper and deeper into the stretch. So what you want to do pillows under Your hips. All right, the higher the better and you should find your height. All right. I Got this height. Maybe I'll, I'll start with two couple of pillows under my under my hips. All right then from here Slide your feet apart. Keep your torso in front of you like this and sit down on the pillows Really sit on the pillows. Yeah, m maybe take also the yoga blocks and, uh, on the pillows if you have to. Just you, you want to stay comfortable, you know. And then you go down with, the, with with your torso, like in front of you. Keep your hips on the same line as your feet. Oh yeah! Put your hands in front of you. Yep. And now we go one. Squeeze your glutes. Two. Widen your legs. Three, oh, wonderful. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you push down with your feet against the, against the floor. One, two, hold the contraction. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Inhale. Exhale, try to get deeper. Relax more, you got the pillows. It's good because you can apply more pressure on the pillows here, you know? Squeeze your glutes, widen your legs apart. One, yeah, two, that's excellent. Three, stay, four, five, six, 
seven, and eight. We do want to do another contraction, so let's go. Feet down, one, two, push the feet down, three, hold, 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 four, five, six, seven, come on, eight, nine, ten, and you stop. Inhale, come on, put a little bit more pressure on the pillow. Get deeper, deeper. If you can, touch the elbows on the floor. Yeah, and you stay down. And that's one, two, come on. Three, keep your hips squared. Four, five, six, seven, come on, squeeze your glutes, eight, last two breaths, nine, ten, now when you exit, you want to roll your pelvis in front of you like this, oh, all right, a little bit of love for your glutes, away with the pillow, all right, a little bit of love for your glutes, just to finish, all right? So you do wanna keep one leg in front of you, like this, other leg right here, and you pull like this. One, just to compensate for the side split walk. Two, that's good. Three, four, and five, mm-hmm, other leg, and you go. Open your hips as much as you can, anterior tilt, stay there. One, open your hips, arch your back. Two, three, four, five. All right. Thank you guys for staying with me for this hour long lower body stretching routine.